Ah, is this I can't tell. I'm an album review. Nile, what should not be unearthed? This album came out a little while ago, and I apologize for being so late, but it's better late than never, right? This is uh, Nile's eighth album. Um, it's their follow up to uh, At the Gates of Sethu. Um, and this album is on Nuclear Blast. Um, At the Gates of Sethu was not a good album. Um, back when it came out in 2012, I guess it was. Um, it had a paper thin sound to it. Um, the songwriting just felt very disjointed. The vocals felt very random and weird, and it just didn't work out. And uh, I, I, you know, I, to me, it was mostly the sound and the production of that album. I was just like, this is not Nile. Um, not that Nile can't do different things or whatever. It just that sound was so drastically different and it just didn't work if it worked that that would have been cool but it didn't work um so they put out the song call to destruction which is on this album which is a fantastic song it's the first track and i was just like yep they're at, they're back they're they're doing it what they sh this is what at the gates of Sethu should have been um and that that's just a fantastic song just chaos throughout it's just so good and I, I love that riff um especially towards the end when you know they just keep saying call to destruction they're just like belting it. it's like ah oh, and the emotion in that is just incredible um carl sanders and dallas tyler wade just completely guitar wise just completely fucking own it on this album in my opinion um do i think this is the best album niles done no it's kind of hard to top annihilation of the wicked and in their darkened shrines and i'm not even sure if i'd put this over those whom the gods detest um but this is a fantastic listen and, and if you're into heavy music and, and you love nile but you were disappointed with their last album i think you can really enjoy this album um my favorite song on on this album is evil to cast out evil um my god that main riff is just everything nile is is it, that that is your your fucking classic nile riff right there just it very technical but sounds so weird and so unique and just awesome um and, and then it just you know gets kind of fucking thrashy and the vocals are just fucking incredible on that song and and you get to uh the solo which i think is the best solo on here and and it's just so fucking good and it's heavy and i just i absolutely love that song man um, another song that I really enjoyed on this album is at the very last track, let me get it right, since they have it in a circle, to walk forth from the flames unscathed. My fucking God, is that a good song too. That song is very heavy. I love, uh, that song actually really reminds me of Annihilation of the Wicked in that, you know, uh, you, you have that guitar lead over top of it and just a fucking heavy just driving rhythm underneath of it and uh it just uh, first time i heard that i was like yes and then just the vocals just screaming fire at the end it's like yes um vocally i, I just find this album to be on par man i mean it's it, the, the, when there's really 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 guttural lows where you're just like i don't know how any human can do this um you know, they work on here. They don't feel out of place and just very random and off like at, like their last album. Um, I think the track, the eighth track, um, Age of Famine, or no, yeah, seventh track, sorry. Um, that, that track really is a very slow track and with mostly guttural vocals throughout, and I thought it worked very, very well. Um, and lyrically, I mean, Niall's always a f just 
fascinating band lyrically. And, uh, and, you know, this album is like no other, in my opinion. Um, I think, you know, they really did get back to their, their sound. I mean, you listen to In Their Dark and Shrines, Annihilation of the Wicked, whatever. They had one of the most fullest, thickest walls of fucking noise you will ever hear in a heavy metal band, in my opinion. I mean, their guitar is just always so just disgustingly heavy and fat, and I love it. Um, and then at the gates of Sethu, it was like this. It was a paper clip. And this is a lot more heavy. It's a lot more more classic Nile uh, in terms of its sound, and I, I, I just find it fucking incredible. Um, the fourth track... Jeez, why can't they just put them in a fucking order? In the Flame of a Moon is another very good one. Um, to me, that, that one kind of sums up Nile. It starts off with, you know, that kind of classic Egyptian sound... Um, and then it's just boom chaos throughout, and, and and but there's a very very fucking heavy gross kind of slam towards the end, and the solo is just that weird just fucking I don't know how that sounds weird, but I like it type of solo that Nile usually does. Their solos are strange, man. They really 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 are. Um, if <laughs> Uh, it just sounds like they're just hitting random notes sometimes, but it works. And, and you know, um, and to me, that's that song kind of sums up everything about Nile. And, and I think from start to finish, this is a fucking strong album. And it's one of the best albums of the year, in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to give this album an 8.5 out of 10. I think it's very good, and I think you should listen to it. It's Nile in their, I was about to say, in their darkened shrines. What should not be unearthed? Unearthed. I oh, don't fucking know. Let me know what you guys think of this album. Uh, check out our past albums here that came uh, that we reviewed recently. Slayer, um, Counterparts, North Lane, um, Until Dawn, Madden 16. Check out the breakdown that's going to be coming out this week. We're going to be talking about lots of cool stuff. Thanks for watching everything that we put up. We really appreciate it. Yes, there.